Welcome back to IT and Automation Academy. If you're not sure what to prepare for an interview for a PLC or control engineer role, you're in the right place. This video will help you cover the most important questions for any automation interview, especially for a PLC role. Before we dive into the content, if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated on our future content. Now, let's get into the interview preparation. Our initial question is what is a PLC? A Programmable Logic Controller, PLC, is a specialized digital computer used for automation of industrial processes, such as controlling machinery on factory assembly lines, amusement rides, or lighting fixtures. Second question is what are the key components of a PLC? The main components of a PLC include the CPU, Central Processing Unit, Input and Output Modules, Programming Device, and Memory. Third question is explain the working principle of a PLC. PLCs receive inputs from sensors or other devices, process these inputs based on a programmed logic and then produce outputs to control actuators or other devices. The program is typically created using ladder logic or other programming languages. Fourth question is what is ladder logic? Ladder logic is a programming language commonly used in PLCs. It resembles relay logic diagrams and consists of rungs with contacts and coils, representing input conditions and output actions, respectively. Next question is differentiate between analog and digital inputs, outputs in PLCs. Digital inputs, outputs deal with discrete on-off signals, binary, while analog inputs, outputs handle continuous signals within a range, such as voltage or current. Next question is explain the scan cycle of a PLC. The scan cycle of a PLC involves scanning inputs, executing the program logic, and updating outputs. It typically includes three stages, input scan, program scan, and output scan. What is the difference between syncing and sourcing in PLCs? Syncing and sourcing refer to the way a PLC handles the current flow in its input or output circuits. In syncing configuration, the current flows from the devices to the PLC. While in sourcing configuration, the current flows from the PLC to the devices. What is PID control in PLC? PID, proportional, integral, derivative control is a method used in PLCs for closed loop control systems. It helps maintain a process variable at a desired set point by adjusting the output based on proportional, integral, and derivative terms. Explain the concept of ladder logic timers and counters. Timers and counters in ladder logic are used to control time and count events, respectively. Timers are used to introduce delays or time-based operations, while counters keep track of events or occurrences. How do you troubleshoot a PLC program? Troubleshooting involves checking the program logic, inspecting input and output devices, reviewing wiring connections, and using monitoring tools provided by the PLC software. Debugging tools and simulation features can also be helpful. What is the role of the PLC in automation? The PLC serves as the brain of an automated system, interpreting inputs, executing programmed logic, and controlling outputs to automate industrial processes efficiently. Explain the difference between a relay and a PLC. While relays are electromechanical devices with limited functionality, PLCs are programmable and offer more flexibility in terms of logic control, data handling, and communication capabilities. What is the purpose of the watchdog timer in a PLC? The watchdog timer is a safety feature in PLCs that monitors the execution time of the program if the program takes too long to execute, the watchdog timer resets the PLC to prevent malfunction or system failure. How does a PLC communicate with other devices in an industrial system? 
PLCs communicate through various protocols such as Modbus, Profibus, Ethernet, or OPC to exchange data with other devices like sensors, actuators, human-machine interfaces, and other PLCs. What is the significance of scan time in a PLC program? Scan time refers to the time it takes for a PLC to complete one scan cycle. Minimizing scan time is crucial for ensuring real-time control in industrial processes. Explain the concept of retentive and non-retentive memory in PLCs. Retentive memory retains its value even when power is lost, while non-retentive memory loses its value when the PLC is powered off. Retentive memory is often used for storing values that need to be preserved during power cycles. What are safety PLCs, and when are they used? Safety PLCs are specialized PLCs designed for applications where safety is critical. They include features like redundancy, self-testing, and fail-safe mechanisms to ensure the reliability of safety-critical processes. Explain the concept of I.O. addressing in PLC programming. I.O. addressing is the method used to reference input and output devices in a PLC program. It involves assigning unique addresses to each input and output point for effective communication and control. How do you implement data communication between two PLCs? Data communication between PLCs can be achieved using communication protocols like Modbus, Profibus, or Ethernet IP. This enables the exchange of data, allowing coordination between different parts of a larger control system. What is ladder logic scanning, and how does it impact program execution? Ladder logic scanning involves evaluating the logic of each rung in a sequential manner. The order of rungs can impact program execution, so understanding the scanning process is crucial for effective programming and troubleshooting. Discuss the role of PID tuning in a PLC. PID tuning in involves adjusting the proportional, integral, and derivative parameters in a PID controller to optimize the system's response to changes and disturbances, ensuring stability and accuracy and control. How does a PLC handle fault detection and recovery? PLCs typically include built-in diagnostic features to detect faults such as hardware failures or communication issues. Recovery strategies involve implementing redundancy or using backup systems to maintain continuous operation. Explain the concept of ladder logic interrupts. Ladder logic interrupts allow the PLC to temporarily interrupt its normal scan cycle to address specific conditions or events. This feature is useful for handling time-critical tasks or emergency situations. What is the role of a PLC rack in an industrial control system? A PLC rack houses the various modules, including the CPU, input and output modules, communication modules, and power supply. It provides a centralized and organized structure for the PLC components. How can you optimize a PLC program for better performance? Optimizing a PLC program involves minimizing scan time, reducing unnecessary logic, optimizing code execution order, and utilizing efficient programming practices. Regular program reviews and updates contribute to improved performance. Discuss the importance of preventive maintenance in PLC systems. Preventive maintenance involves regularly checking and servicing PLC components to prevent unexpected failures. This ensures the reliability and longevity of the PLC system, minimizing downtime and production losses. What are the security considerations when working with PLCs in an industrial setting? Security measures for PLCs include implementing access controls, using encrypted communication protocols, and keeping firmware software up to date. Protecting against unauthorized access is crucial to prevent potential cyber threats. Explain the concept of scan cycle overlap in PLCs. Scan cycle overlap occurs when the PLC starts a new scan cycle before completing the previous one. Understanding and managing scan cycle overlap 
is essential for maintaining the responsiveness and stability of the control system. How do you handle redundancy in PLC systems? And why is it important? Redundancy involves having backup systems or components to ensure continued operation in case of a failure. In PLC systems, redundancy can be implemented for critical components like CPUs or communication modules to enhance system reliability. What is the purpose of the HMI human machine interface in a PLC system? The HMI allows operators to interact with and monitor the PLC system. It provides a graphical interface for displaying process information, alarms, and control options, facilitating efficient control and troubleshooting. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to common PLC interview questions. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, take care and goodbye.